Chiretto Sinita was this village outside of uh, a larger town called Benevento. And Benevento, like Napoli, are in the region of Campania. So it's, uh, if we look at it like uh, we think of the United States, uh, so it's within a county, all these towns are within a county. So that county would be uh, Campania. And Cerito is more of a, um, uh, a suburb of Benevento which happens to fall about an hour and a half uh, east of Napoli. And it's a place that my grandfather grew up. Uh, I had never known my grandfather because when he, he uh, got on the boat and he left to go to the United States to start a family, uh, he was about 20 years old. He had, he had died before I was born. So all I had was uh, uh, a lot of stories about him and about his growing up in Chiretto. And uh, I always wanted to go there. Somehow I just had this feeling I have to connect there. Uh, so my wife, Stephanie, uh, after my show in Napoli uh, this year, earlier this year, she... Um, she had on her own made, made some arrangements with uh, some of the people, town people of, uh, of uh, Chiretto. And uh, she said, okay, day after the show in Napoli, we're going on our day off. And I was, uh, I just kind of was, I was in her hands. So I said, okay, I don't know what to expect. I have no idea, but they're coming to pick us up. I said, wow. <laughs> so when we got there, I thought we were just gonna see it as a tourist, but no, they had, they had a welcoming party. Uh, very, very similar, of course, a little smaller sense, but, but it reminded me of like what people expect when they pull up to the Oscars, you know? It was like police were out there directing traffic, holding the people back on both sides. And I was like, look at this, this, this is for me, you know? And as it turns out, there were a lot of relatives that I had not known. I had found out that my grandfather had 16 brothers and sisters, only two of which went to the United States. So that left 14 that stayed behind and had children, and those children had children. They were so, uh, so amazingly happy to, to meet me, because they had known about me and my endeavors and in my history of in the music world uh, for a very long time, for decades. They knew about it. I didn't know about them at all, but they knew about me and what I've done. They were very proud of that. So uh, they, they got to show that, that side of them, you know, and uh, the embracing of, 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 you know, their warmth and everything was, was overwhelming, you know. And during that visit, we had uh, this amazing big buffet lunch. Uh, then we went to the courthouse where, uh, you know, all the officials sat behind these very official desks and each one had to vote me in, you know, and it was like a very uh, organized and, and serious matter. You know, they voted me as honorary citizen. And uh, the whole time I was going, can you believe this? I can't believe this, you know. Then after that, we, we took a tour of the, of the whole village and where they pointed out where my grandfather lived. And that was the door that he left to go to the United States. Totally emotional stuff. Uh, they, they pointed out places that he had, uh, houses of worship that he had got, gone to and stores that he used to go in. And, and the thing that impressed me the most was the, the stories that I heard from my father, maybe a thousand times, they also told me those same stories. They had it all documented. And I thought that was like something I will never forget. That's a great story. So, and the end result was I had to, I had to bring to light 
this this wonderful event and, and, and somehow give it some credit to the record. Uh, so that's how the name of the song emerged. <laughs> 